In this video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how I'm able to find over $2 million a year worth of products like this body wash that you can buy for 13 bucks and then sell on Amazon for about $29. And then with a 20% coupon that site was offering, we're gonna be making about $9 profit per unit and it sells a little over 150 times a month. Selling name brand products like that one on Amazon is what took me from a broke college kid with 1500 bucks in my bank account to building a multi-million dollar Amazon business. So I'm super excited to share this strategy with you guys. But if this is your first video here, my name is Warner Fields with Fields of Profit. I'm a full-time seven-figure Amazon seller. Super excited to show you exactly how you can source profitable products on Amazon. But before we do that, if you want even more free resources to learn how to sell on Amazon, there's going to be a link beneath me. It's our completely free Amazon seller Discord community. Over 45,000 people in there sharing a ton of free information. Would love to see you in there, but let's go ahead and jump into the video. So I've gone ahead and pulled up that exact product that I used as an example in the beginning of this video, because we're going to be able to use this product or really any product that is arbitrageable. I'll kind of explain what that means to find new profitable products, right? And so basically what we know is if we can buy this product from an everyday website like this one and sell it profitably, there's going to be other sellers on this listing who are going to be selling items profitably. We can find from different websites, right? So you can start from an item like this. It's also a good idea to start from any brand that doesn't sell on Amazon and is very kind of dominated by sellers who are just buying things from Walmart, Target. So think about like great value brand or anything Target branded, anything retail store branded, right? Or Nike, lots of those big brands that don't sell on Amazon themselves are gonna be great starting points for you to start doing what's called reverse sourcing. So I'm just gonna be kind of reverse sourcing here. I've not really scripted anything out here. I just wanna go live through the process, talk out kind of what I'm seeing as we look through some potential leads here. So we're looking at this body wash listing here and based on the fact that this is profitable, these sellers are going to be selling other profitable products, right? And so I see this seller right here. They've got, you know, about 100 feedback. Typically, I'm looking for like 50 to 250 feedback on a listing. So on this listing, looks like we've got a couple storefronts that I'd probably reverse source. Honestly, probably any of these FBA storefronts here, I'd go ahead and look through. Let's just go ahead and look at this particular seller right here. So right off the bat, using seller amp here, we can see what brands they're selling. We can see what categories they're selling. So maybe if you're only ungated in certain brands right now, or you're only ungated in certain categories, you can just kind of niche down from there and start seeing, you know, what potential potential there is for you. Um, also, if you just want to start focusing on a different category, you know, tired of the returns and clothing, you just want to look at grocery, you know, go for it. You can just look through kind of the grocery products on this storefront. So from here, our challenge with reverse sourcing is to figure out if we can buy this item for this max cost option here. So in this case, the item selling for about 10 bucks, we can also see over here on the keep a chart that this item is selling for $10. So we can pretty easily rule this product out. And this view is something that's very unique to Selleramp. You're not really going to find any other tools that's going to make it this easy for you to kind of start sourcing products. So definitely go ahead and check out that free trial down below if you want to follow along with the video here. So right away here, we're able to rule that product out because Amazon is selling on the listing. It's too cheap. We're not going to be able to buy that for two bucks. It looks like we might have a similar issue here where it seems like it used to be fairly expensive. You can see third party sellers used to be on this for like 40 bucks or so. And then Amazon came on the listing. That is totally fine. So let's just keep on heading on here. So we got a barbecue rub, 12 ounce. We'd have to buy it for about $6.60. And that seems, you know, maybe that is possible. It's just kind of some, some spices, right? So just hit that Google button there and it'll automatically search the title of the item for you. And then we're just gonna go ahead and poke around here. So this is the actual website. It looks like they sell it for $12. Sometimes it's good to check like Capital One Shopping or something like that, that has some coupon codes listed. So a lot of times I'll just go in here and you know do, you know, to add 10 to cart, check out. And then we can quickly see if we can get any of these discount codes to apply. So let's just go ahead and run that extension. And so there we go. It looks like we were able to find a code that seems like it's probably like 15% off or so, but that listing we were looking at originally, we'd have to buy it for about six bucks. So it wasn't quite cheap enough. Maybe we can, you know, poke around and see if there's some, some other potential sources. It seems like that price might be a little bit higher than where you'd be able to source unless we find, you know, a good deal on it. This to me looks like something I would start tracking down like a distributor for something like that. If you want to go, you know, even higher level, but let's just go ahead and keep heading down the line here. So Amazon sells it. Amazon sells it pretty easy to skip those two. So here we got like a ceramic hair straightener. So let's check that out. Basically we need to buy this item for about 15 bucks and let's go ahead and see what the prices are looking like. So it looks like Target could potentially have it for 15. That's DH gate. If you guys ever see like DH gate, Alibaba, that kind of stuff, never buy products for arbitrage from those sites. They're pretty much always going to be fake products would lead to some pretty bad customer complaints. So here's that product over at target. Let's see, is that the same product? So it is like comb. I want to go ahead and open up this listing here and get a closer look at it. So it looks like there's the gold listing. Oh, so there's ceramic gold and there's also gold, which is interesting. It seems like the price has been dropping a little bit recently. So this is actually kind of a red flag. It's kind of a good, you know, teaching moment here. So on this listing, 
listing, you see how the buy box line has gone away. And on this listing, there's no more button that says add to cart. Like if you guys shop on Amazon, you probably just hit that add to cart button every time you buy an item. In this case, the buy box has gone away. And typically what happens after the buy box goes away is the item is going to start selling slower. And then the item is also going to decrease in price because, you know, simple supply and demand, the items start selling slower. People have the same amount of supply and they need to lower the price to find that new equilibrium, right? So we can see even recently the price has been dropping down to 23 bucks. So it's kind of a big red flag to me, especially since it always had a buy box in the past and now it's just suddenly gone. This item is probably going to continue heading to being tanked. It seems like it was a, a pretty decent item there for a while, but let's go ahead and keep heading on here. So this guy right here, this ointment of some kind, we'd have to buy it for 450. It seems like kind of a more luxury brand. So I'd be pretty surprised. Yeah, there it is for 13, 20 off of a hundred. That's not quite going to cut it. So let's go ahead and keep going down here. So Funko, some kind of custom Funko pop. We could buy it for 17 bucks. So that could be realistic. Not really sure. So let's go ahead and check it out. So Funko seems like it might be out of stock. Go ahead and throw that on here. So it was on final sale. So it was probably a limited edition type thing. Probably not gonna be able to find that one profitably. So we got this Clinique product. We'd have to buy it for $9. And this is another thing you guys should look out for as you're doing this sourcing method. Anytime you see these prices rapidly decreasing like that, typically that means that the item has, you know, kind of tanked. You know, when originally you would have bought it for, seems like it was selling for 35 bucks or so. So you probably buy it for 16, 17 bucks and then, you know, theoretically make, you know, 40, 50% ROI. But a lot of people, too many people kind of hopped on this item. You can see the price continued to decrease there. And so anytime you see a Keepa pattern where the new FBA price, that orange line there has continually decreased and stayed at the bottom, it's usually going to mean that that item is going to be very difficult to find profitably. So, you know, even in this case, I should have kind of seen that pattern. And this sourcing method is all about learning how to look past bad profit products as fast as possible. Good products are very obvious. You know, you compare the prices A to B and it looks great, right? You're going to see way more bad products. So start learning as many little tricks like that that helps you avoid opening up the, you know, the Google opening up Amazon on each one of these products. That's going to save you a ton of time. So let's go ahead and check these out here. So it's got some roller derby skates sold by Amazon. So we can't hop on those. This one seems a little bit more interesting. We can see the price is even increasing a little bit recently. Seems like we could have something on our hands here. So let's go ahead and check this one out real quick. Seems like it's going for for eight bucks over there. And then, yeah, so recently the price has been at about $10 and it recently lost buy box. So another one of those examples where we can keep on going here. So Yankee candle price is way lower than it was in the past. So I'm just going to do a quick check on something like this. Actually, those are five bucks. Is that the same? So we got like a white, blue, red. It's probably like a Fourth of July type product, something like that. So decent seasonality for the time we're looking at it. So let's see. So there's the listing. Okay, so that's them right there. So this would be something you could throw a restock tracker on if you have one of those. A lot of times websites like this will have an option for you to throw in your email and it will kind of tell you when the, the item's back in stock. It doesn't seem like this one does, but if you ever find something like that, most websites have that actually where you can throw it in there and get an email. And then often you'll start having profitable products just kind of pop up in your email inbox. And those are awesome because those are kind of the limit supply type products. So let's see. So this guy right here seems like it's been consistently selling for about 15 bucks. We'd have to buy it very, very cheap. So at this point, I would probably start finding a different storefront. And that's part of this method as well as seeing a lot of the products that this seller is selling has been kind of price tanked and that kind of stuff. Maybe I'll kind of scroll through here and check for some things that seem a little bit more interesting. Like this one, the price just hasn't dropped too bad on it. We'd have to buy it for like eight bucks. Let's see. So yeah, so they got it. It's their own website for 12. We could see if they have, you know, again, any kind of coupon popping up up here. So if we had 30%, would that be enough? 30% off 12, we need it to ever eight bucks. So it'd be close, but not quite. So probably just keep moving on here. This one, the price has been decreasing pretty rapidly. I'd be pretty surprised if you're able to get that one profitably. This one seems a little bit interesting. So this almond or yeah, pecan crunch there. Price is pretty consistent. Let's go ahead and check that one out. Let's see. So almond pecan crunch one count. That could be something potentially there. So we're looking at a 20 ounce. And then over here, we got this listing here. This is just a five ounce bag. So a little bit too small there. So there's the Sam's Club listing. I would imagine this is probably where people are buying it from. So yeah, if, if we need to buy it for 780, I might just open up the listing here. Sometimes it's good to see if there's a more consistent higher price that the item sells for. So it looks like it usually goes for about 20 bucks. I'm just plug in that average cost there. I guess we're paying 10 bucks for it. We would make you know a little bit of money. It's grocery, so it's probably not going to be returnable. But that's a little bit too thin for me. You'd have to have some serious wiggle room there. Yeah. So at this point, I'll probably go ahead and pick out a different storefront. I like to check through you know, maybe 10, 15 different products on a storefront, and then I'll head on to kind of a different one here. So yeah, let's go ahead and check out this. Uh, they're brand new. See if they're kind of you know onto anything here. So they got some Alka Seltzer stuff here. Seems like the price is way higher than it was in the past. So maybe they are onto something here. Selling for 26 bucks. 
It seems like it could be kind of a, a limited thing. Maybe it's really popular with the seasonality. So they're selling for 26 bucks. We need to buy it for like 12 or so. CVS has it for 12, theoretically. Walgreens has it listed, but I think it said they were out of stock. You can also often open up like the brand website and it'll say like where to buy. And then, yeah, based on this, we'll probably be able to find some stores that it lists. So it's just listing like actual retail storefronts. A lot of times it'll say like where you can buy it online. So add to retailer's cart. Interesting. I don't know if I've seen this as kind of layout before. Okay, there we go. So Walmart, Amazon, Walgreens and Target is our options here. So here it is on Walgreens. It seems like this one's out of stock. This one's also eligible for a coupon. So I would definitely throw this on something that kind of tracks the restock status of it. So we got this guy and this is shipping for $12.49 here. CVS is, I haven't run too many coupons in it much like that before. That would be insane if that applies, but almost no way that the that 50% code is going to work on kind of a medicine product here. But yeah, if we're buying this for $12.49 there, so that's $5 profit each. It's been selling at this higher price for a little bit. It's not really the price it belongs at though. So like really kind of big picture, it's more like a $20 item, I'd say, or even like a $19 item. Yeah. So kind of your, your upside here is making, let's see, you're making about a 45% ROI. Your downside's a 0% ROI. So I don't really see you losing money on something like this. If you have plenty of capital, maybe you could pull the trigger on something like that. It's not a home run product, but you know, I might buy it just to see if the price stays high. And if it goes back down to 0% ROI, that's okay. We'll, we'll get our money back out and, and buy something better with it. If you guys are super capital limited, then I probably wouldn't recommend that. Let's go ahead and keep on checking out a couple more products. So we found that, pull the trigger on a little bit of that. Let's see if we can find a bigger winner here. And then we'll go ahead and kind of call it there. So United Pet. So this is interesting because it's really, really cheap. So I'll kind of show you guys a trick within Salaramp. You do have the ability to do the small mite calculator. So when we do that, you can see the fees change like pretty drastically. They go from three bucks up to $4.10. So it makes us basically an extra dollar if we're able to find this profitably. So let's figure out kind of what we're looking at here. So we got these kind of, what are these? There's like eye drops or something, multi drops. I would imagine it's, it's probably a vitamin or something like that. Eye drops for birds. <laughs> yeah, let's check this out here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the Google button again. So that Walmart's probably a third party seller if it's like a weird high price. That could be that from Walmart right there. So 278, so we're buying it for over here. So yeah, you can make 47% ROI. Doesn't make a lot of sense unless you've got like some in-house prep help. Also kind of thinking about the longer term averages here, you'd almost double your money on some of this stuff. So yeah, another more borderline product. Definitely not a home run by any means, but you could definitely make some money. And I would say only pull the trigger on items like that if you're not spending your own time putting stickers on things and prepping items. And I just don't want you to be working for, you know, whatever putting stickers on a dollar a unit profit items are, you can probably hire someone that that makes sense to list those types of products. So yeah, let's, let's check out a few more products here. So this, what do we got? So it's like a soap of some kind. Yeah. So that's part of the game here as well as you'll learn a ton of random products that you never thought you'd know anything about. So yeah, so it seems like, is this like the new version of a mothball or something like that? So they're selling for 377 a pop. We need a three pack for 10 bucks. So this actually could be another profitable item here. So we got six ounces over here. Just wanna make sure everything's the same. Lavender scented, always good to zoom in and make sure everything looks the exact same. It seems like it's the same to me, so six ounces. But yeah, so now let's see. So we're paying 377 a unit. So you can do 377 and then you can do your math in seller ramp here. It helps you be a little faster there. So we're paying 1131 for this all said and done. I wanna go and check it at the average price. I'll go ahead and check it at the 30 day average. So 30 day average, we're not making a ton of money. It was like a, maybe a temporary seller increase. Hard to know if that seller increase would come back. If it did come all the way back, what's our profit? We, you know, we're breaking even. If the price stays kind of where it's at up here at like 24 ish, we're making a decent ROI, not home run by any means. I also don't see this product being returned super often people pretty much know what they're getting with this. So I wouldn't be as concerned with that as say like an apparel product. You don't want to buy apparel that's, you know, 30% ROI. It's pretty much always going to lead to too many returns and lose your profit and that kind of stuff. I like to, you know, buy those products that are a little bit lower ROI in lower return categories. Yeah. So I would probably pull the trigger on something like this. I wouldn't be surprised if you end up a little bit less profitable than you think, but there's also a good chance you can end up more profitable than you think because there's decent history of this item selling at 26 bucks and above in the past. And those, I'm all over that. If you're making about five bucks profit, you're making over 40% ROI. And that's a pretty, very solid product there. And yeah, so based on kind of the seller trends here, so this is selling like 261 times a month. I also want to get a sense of kind of our competition here. So we've got eight competitive sellers who are all kind of at that 23.95 price. So you'd be that 
that ninth competitive seller. You know, in theory, if all those numbers are correct and everything you know goes to plan, then you would probably be making about 30 sales, 30 to 40 sales a month, you know, dividing that 260 by, you know, the, the ninth, you being the ninth seller in this case. Another thing I want to check on listings like this before you pull the trigger is go data and then buy box statistics on Keepa. And then this is perfect. I typically just want to see a lot of, you know, more equal percentages. This is basically showing you the percentage of sales that each seller has made on this listing. And I'm seeing lots of sellers, even if they don't have a ton of feedback making, you know, decent sales. You can also filter this by last one. So you can see like how active the buy box is and rotating. And so even just here in the last, you know, 24 hours, we've had, you know, four sellers there make sales on this product. So it definitely seems like this product is something you'd be able to make sales on. Sales would rotate to you pretty much no problem. Just hop on this listing, listed at $23.95, set your repricer up. I'd probably end up buying 40 units of this. You'd buy 120 of those bars of mothballs over from, you know, walmart.com. And then should just go ahead and ship this product in off to Amazon. They'll take care of the order fulfillment. They'll do any customer service on those listings. Pretty much all you have to do is take care of any, you know, potential customer returns, that kind of stuff, which isn't super frequent. A lot of that is taken care of by Amazon as well. So if you guys want to start finding products just like those, go ahead and activate your two-week free trial of Selleramp with the link down in the description. That's the sourcing tool I was using that whole video. It's going to power up your Amazon business, cost you less than 20 bucks a month as well. So it's kind of a no-brainer for you to get as you're starting out. If you guys did get value out of this video, please feel free to also hit that subscribe button down below. That helps me out for adding some value back to your business. If you guys have any questions, comments, anything like that, feel free to drop those down below as well. Always happy to answer those for you guys. But I really appreciate you guys watching this video and I will see you next time.